Hey, it's Michelle with Between Us Girls, and I want to talk to y'all about my FabFitFun subscription box. Now, I know there are a lot of boxes out there, but this one comes with the full-sized items, you guys. A Yumi Kim makeup bag, Tarte Drink of H2O, Murad Renewing Eye Cream, and some Great Sunnies by Quay. Now, don't you fret if you don't love the items I mentioned. These boxes are customizable, so you can choose whatever your heart desires. I'm really excited about the Renewing Eye Cream because, child, I look as tired as I feel some days. Now, they sell out fast, so head over to www.fabfitfun.com and get your first one today using our code BUG, B-U-G, 10, the number 10. They retail for $49.99 and always value over $200. So use our code BUG10 and get $10 off your box. Get on this, sis. Now let's start the show. You are now listening to Between Us Girls, the podcast, where we discuss life's fuckeries and then some over wine. Hey, welcome to our show. This is Michelle, Danielle, and Sharonda, and this is Between, Between Us, Us Girls. And if you stumbled upon our show by mistake, as always, thank you for continuing to listen. And you can listen to us on SoundCloud, Stitcher Radio, Google Play, and iTunes. And we're also on all the other podcast listening apps. Um, for those of you who have deep pockets and a giving spirit. (laughs) (laughs) You can also find us on Patreon. That's going to be www.patreon.com backslash between us girls. And any amount is appreciated. Just pass that collection plate. Yes. Pass it to your mama. Yes. And your daddy. Right. Just get someone's credit card and just (laughs) just get it. Um, This week, our fan of the week is... Mr. Thank O Juice himself, Mark Smith. Thank O Juice. Woo woo woo. Thank you, Mark, for <laughs> always being an avid listener. Um, He's also like uh, shares it with his friends. Yes, he does. And tries to get other people to listen, which is really cool. And an important part of being fan of the week. Exactly. And right. he capes for yeah. us. We like that. Right. Like that's that's yeah. what makes you fan of the week material is when you're really going above and beyond for the girls. So thank you. We appreciate you, Mark. Thank a juice. <laughs> this week we had a iTunes review contest. The winner said some really nice things about me personally. <laughs> and that person is Misty Williams. Thank you, Misty, for what you said about my singing voice. I really appreciate the accolades. She said something about Jesus. Yeah, she I said can't something remember like what she said. I sound like singing Jesus or something. I don't know. Was, <laughs> anyway, I really appreciated it. It made my day. Wow. Yeah, I I was talking to her and I was like, when I read it, I was like, this ain't nobody but me. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Seeing this shit talking about some damn Jesus or whatever Michelle singing and I was like really and I asked her she was like maybe <laughs> so it was her you know at first I was like oh my god a stranger really likes me I, yeah I told her I was like you know what <laughs> I'm gonna let I said you know how much of a giver I am I'm gonna let Michelle continue to think that a random person really loves her singing right now because I care so much you see how I gave to you like that Thank I, you. I let you have that moment yeah you did and then you were like but also it was just missing <laughs> I gave you a whole day, though. Yeah, you did. Yeah. All right. So before we get into our show, what are we sipping on? Um. Oh, what does this say? I didn't even try to figure this out before I got here. Um. Reserve Special Barons de Rothschild. Mm. <laughs> Jesus, that's a mouthful. <laughs> mouthful. Anyway, y'all. Vintage 2014. It is a Bordeaux. And it's actually two grapes, um, 60% Samillan and 40% Savion. This is a white wine. And for my alcoholics, 
11.5% alcohol by volume. Womp womp. Deep fucking sigh. <laughs> womp womp. So water. We have to do, we'll do better next time. I'm sorry. It's cool. It's cool. <laughs> Everybody can't get to almost 14%. You know what I'm saying? Everybody can't. <laughs> um, are we using the scorecard or is that good or not? You know we got to use the scorecard. Okay. Don't even play. I roll with you. Get this shit in order. Let's just get it in order. Or not. Okay. Well, for those who are using the wine scorecard, we'll be rating the wine based on appearance, aroma, body, finish, and taste. Everybody swirl your wine. It smells like wine. Wow. Okay. It's, it has like a kind of a musk smell. Oaky taste. Yeah. Okay, but we'll wrap that up. Yeah. Okay, so we'll talk about what our actual scores are at the end of the show. And remember... Our individual scores can only go up to 25. <laughs> <laughs> Don't I sound like a game or show? Not. Right. Exactly. Okay. So, so excited for our guest tonight. Our dear Fernie has returned. Yay. <laughs> for those who know, episode 13 and 14 of our show do feature Fernando. He is a psychic medium and Ricky healer. And he has a really fun and educational YouTube channel. And he has a couple different shows on there. Um, if you look really closely, you might see me. <laughs> oh, God. Um, Jesus. She's like, bitch, I'm famous. <laughs> bitch, I'm famous. <laughs> honest, bitch. Um, and also, he's currently working um, on offering a psychic education and online development class. Because he did tell us before that everyone has the potential. You just got to tap on into it. Hmm. So. Like that. <laughs> um, today he's going to sit with us to talk about um, developing a strong sense of self and using that sense of self versus you know kind of what's drilled into you as a child or as an adult by others and then after that we're going to like really turn on the fun and play a game oh my god you sound like a teacher we're going to turn on the fun <laughs> <laughs> Four out of five of the co-hosts <laughs> on the show have me fucked up. So, let's talk about developing a strong sense of self. Well, first of all, welcome, hey, Fernando. Hi. Welcome. Hello. 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 I'm like, whatever, Fernando's here. I know, she's like, I'm like a light switch. Okay, Fernie, go. I'm like, oh, Lord, we already had this conversation. Right. We already talked about this on an episode of my YouTube channel. So... Hey, how are you today? I'm I'm wonderful. I'm wonderful. I it's it's interesting that you talk about a sense of self because today I had an experience where I I my name is my brand is my name and my my name is my brand, right? And mm -hmm. I work really hard with my brand and how I express myself and how people know me and so forth. And um, I earlier this week made the mistake of you know, I get e-readings every day and mm. I have my online services. I, most of my uh, services now are via like video, chat, so Skype, mm -hmm. FaceTime, mm -hmm. all of the above. Um, I think one day now I only offer in-person sessions. And mm -hmm. so I do offer e-readings for people who don't have time to wait and they just need something, you know, within a three-day period. So I had, um, I had accidentally clicked on um, send to junk mail folder on one of the e-readings and it basically started to compile all of my e-readings into that junk folder oh, no. over the last couple of days oh, and gosh. I started to freak and flip out because my name is my brand my brand is my name so I'm all about consistency I'm all about delivering the same experience I'm all about giving you exactly what I said I'm going to give you mm -hmm. and so as I went into my e-readings and, and found all the ones that went into junk folder it was like eight or nine of them within the last two days. And I was like, holy crap. And so I had to like personally email all these individuals. I'm so sorry. I'm running a few minutes. I mean, I'm running it like a day behind. I will have this out to you by the end of the day. You get to ask me two free, two free questions, you know, on me. So mm -hmm. just ask away. So I had to recover myself, yeah. but that's who I am. And it's weird because when I worked at Starbucks, I was Starbucks. I was the name. I was the, the brand. brand. And everything you do is a reflection of the company. Now it's just me and my business. So everything I do is a reflection of, of me. Right. What my assistant uh -huh. sends out in an email is a reflection of who I am. Right. All my videos are a reflection of who I am. Right. And it's an interesting place to be at because all my life I've tried to conform and to become what others wanted me to become mm. to mm -hmm. gain love. Yeah. I had a, a conversation with my cousin a couple of weeks ago in which I told her 
that the reason why I went over to their house as a kid and cleaned their house and did all these errands and chores for them was because I wanted their love. Aww. And she's like, I thought you just liked to clean. I was like, no. <laughs> I was like, who the hell likes to clean? Like, no. I, I wanted your love. And so I did all these favors for you guys because I wanted your love. That's it. And she's like, I didn't know that. And here she was asking me for more favors, not yeah. realizing that's all I wanted from her was love, not Aww. the opportunity to do a favor. Aww. And I think it touched her because she didn't realize that in that moment she was depriving me of something mm. that I just wanted so simply and so purely. So, mm. and today it's a very different story. You know, I believe that you should be who you want to be, who you choose to be, and let others adjust to that. Yeah. Don't bend and flex mm -hmm. to become something others want you to become, hmm. to be you. You be who you choose to be out of choice every moment, every day, when an opportunity presents itself to act a certain way, to think a certain way, to feel a certain way. Choose that. And that is who you are. That is who you become. And then the world will reflect that. The mm -hmm. world will start to bend and flex and become what you need it to be. Mm -hmm. And the people who don't need to be around will leave. And the people who love you and authentically love you will, will stay. stay. Definitely. Well, I mean, that kind of just goes along with the thinking that you need everybody to accept you. Right. So if you don't have like a strong sense of who you are, then you want to be accepted by every single body and you mm -hmm. want everybody to show you love. When in our actuality, like everybody is not meant for you. Right. You know, so that kind of gets twisted along the way when you don't know exactly who you are right. and what it is that you have to offer. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. I have a friend who's a very well-known psychic medium in the Houston area. And she's actually done a lot of radio. Very, very, very good. And um, we've had some interesting conversations because and I've, I've actually been helping her with her YouTube series. Mm -hmm. And she's very careful about what she says. And if she's, she feels like she said something that may have made her look a certain way or may have created a situation where she doesn't want to be responsible for that, putting that out there, she'll text me, oh, my God, I think I need to retract that. I'm like, it's okay. I haven't finished yet. You know, you're going to be the person that says this is what you want going out or not. Yeah. I don't get to choose that. I'm giving you the help and, and the helping hand and you get to decide mm -hmm. what you want to do. But with, and she says, you know, Fernie, I can't do what you do. And, and I, I like to push the boundaries. I like to push the edge because for the first time in my life, I'm in a place where I get to be me and I don't really give a flying fuck what other people think. Right. And Love I'm okay that. with that. And I know that some people are not going to like me. Some people are going to hate me. Right. But that is okay because maybe in their experience of hating me, they are uncovering some things about themselves, themselves that they may not like. Yeah, right. because you know what? A lot of stuff is often a reflection of you. Like if you find something in somebody else mm -hmm. that you just really, really hate, yeah. like chances are you have that same quality and it may be just at a very, uh, a different level. Right. Um, but it's definitely something that's like mirror that it's like a mirror image. Like right. if you see something that she's like, why is she always doing this or whatever? Da, da, right. da, it's like, because you may not even realize that you do the same thing, but it's just like at a different level, right? you know? So, and I mean, and that's, that could be true for anything really. Yeah. Cause we all have so many different facets of our, ourselves, mm -hmm. you know, but like, I guess, thinking about like what you're saying about just being your authentic self. I kind of think about our show and how people podcast listeners will always be like, Oh, well I don't like this show because of this and that. Oh, I hate it. Instead of just saying, that's just not something I want to listen to because I guess kind of feel like, you know, this is our show for us to create for you and it's for free. So if you don't like it, Fuck you just you. don't like it right. because we can only <clears throat> be, who we are, you know, yeah. coming from that standpoint, though, just based off of the stuff that I read from people that actually listen to shows, it seems to be that they think that a show is catering to them just because they hit play. Right. You know, so it's like if if a host has like um, maybe a little bit of a nasalish voice, something that they can't control, mm -hmm. or if they have like a, their sound is a little bit off, mm -hmm. or they're talking about something that they're not necessarily into, where it's like, oh, I don't like this show, I hate it, and I'm gonna tell everybody else that this show sucks when it's simply just a, something that's not 
for you and you thinking right. that when I hit play, they are trying to reach me and trying to make me only happy. Only you. This is for yeah. you. Okay. Only, yeah, only yeah. me. I'm trying to make you happy. Right. You know, when, when, when really it's for us. Really. Yeah. I mean, we want you guys to listen, but this is our outlet to yeah. say all the shit that we talk to each other. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Well, you know, I think we live in a culture these days where everything has been designed to perfection. Mm -hmm. And I mean, like uh, growing up, I used to watch Nickelodeon and all these, and the acting, like if you notice these days, if you look at acting, it totally sucks. You look at actors in Great Britain or in the UK, they've got crooked teeth, they don't have perfect skin, they look all saggy skinned. Because they're more but, like character driven But they're actors. real people, people. Yeah. Yeah. and they are acting and having real emotions through the process. While mm -hmm. here, you'll be watching a show in the U.S., and I'm like, girl, I'm waiting for that tear because that's going to make me feel <laughs> like, <laughs> like you're you know real. what you're talking right. about. Right. This is real. Yeah. And it never happens. It yeah. never comes. And I'm like, damn, if only she would have just d gone that extra step. Yeah. Just but cried. it's because that is the expectation we have, especially in the United States, where we all are supposed to be a certain way. The, you know, it's funny because I had this conversation, this, this conversation came up yesterday with my partner's mother and, you know, we were talking about, you know, people who are Asian and how, you know, oh, if you go over to Asia, because our, our, our niece is going over to China and she's going to spend a month there mm -hmm. in SETI. And, and so she was talking about all the different things she has to do there. You know, a, a woman can't touch a male's hand at the same time. It's considered a sign of disrespect. Mm -hmm. You're not supposed to show the shoulder, all of these little details and stuff. And she says she wants to respect the culture while she's there. And so her mother, and her mother's a baby boomer. Uh, I mean, her, her grandmother, my partner's mother, she's a baby boomer. And she says, well, why not? They don't respect our culture when we're here. And I said, well, what the <laughs> hell kind of culture do you think we have here? People have this idea that America, America has a culture that is very specific, and that's the only thing you're allowed to be here. I'm like, America is, it's, it's not a melting pot. We all just didn't come together and mix and become one culture. We are, this is a cornucopia of different cultures. There right. is no one culture here. Right. There's no one thing that is just that's acceptable. Everything is, else is unacceptable. That's not what America is. And a lot of people, and I think a lot of the people who are, are right now really struggling is that they are trying to sustain this idea that was established in the 50s and the 40s about what America is and what mm -hmm. happiness here is and the, the American dream. The American dream is simply realizing who you are and fulfilling that to the highest highest expectation and the highest purpose you have for yourself to reach the highest limits you have for yourself that's the american dream mm -hmm. and that is in any way shape or form it doesn't have to be a specific way so that's that's america that to me is my america. well i think yeah. that we're sort of like drifting towards that i mean i think that for the longest the american dream was you know, you, you get married, mm -hmm. you have kids, you get a dog, right, you buy a house, right, you get a job, right. your wife stays home, she she takes care of everything, right. and, and, you know, the husband, he pays for everything. Right. Like and drives that, a Cadillac. Drives a Cadillac. Yeah. You know, like, that was the American dream. I drive I, a Cadillac. You drive a Cadillac. <laughs> <laughs> but that's again that's that's coming from the 40s and the 50s and that's yeah. but that and I think that was really created to boost morale after you know the war yeah. that they're yeah. coming off of but they needed something to strive for they needed something yeah. to say look our life is amazing it's amazing here everything is perfect and idealistic mm -hmm. and as much as you know it's like you look at all these perfectly manicured lawns but I talked to a lot of people and families were not like that there's a lot yeah. of dysfunction mm -hmm. in families I, I mean just a few days ago I had a client who's um you know whose um family member committed suicide mm. and uh, got a lot of suicides which is interesting suicide is a lot more prevalent than people realize really yes really? i mean i i literally every day that i have a mediumship session at least one individual in that session is going to be a, a suicide wow. but yeah that's how often it, it comes up but um this uh her family member committed suicide and um it turns out that he had had some in a, a, inappropriate activity with younger kids mm. and he just couldn't face it. So he killed himself. And wow. so she didn't know him as that. She knew him as her brother and she loved him and cared about him however he came. And so it was a rough conversation mm -hmm. because he's acknowledging what he did. But at the same time, he's, He's taking him. He's taking responsibility for it, but he's still like, "I love you." Nothing changes that. He's like, "We're all in the same place," and they really are all in the same place. Mm -hmm. And I know some people hate me for saying, "Like, what do you mean? Like this guy?" He was I'm like, "They are all in the same place." Like, I like, I really believe that. Though. Yeah, I'm. I, what I say is, you know, the other side is like this massive skyscraper, and there are like two hundred thousand floors, and mm -hmm. some people are on the sixteenth floor, some people are on the two hundredth floor. 
I can have access to certain floors, but at some point, you know, they're all there. They just have different floors they're on. Mm-hmm. Um, and so in the, in the, the front of the, you know, the front of the tower doesn't say Trump, it says God. So <laughs> it's a really good place to be, you know, right. yeah. some of you motherfuckers in the basement though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, and, and, and the thing is, you know, you, you get to work your way up. You get to work through what you've done. Once there's you go there's the never, side. there is never a point that God says you don't have the ability to redeem yourself. Mm. Really? Even after you've crossed That over. is the eternal forgiveness of God. That is the promise of the divine, that no sin is, is unforgivable. And you with me. Because, you know, we see, we see these people from human minds. God is not human. Yeah. God is way beyond that. And we could not even possibly comprehend what God can sense, what God can feel, what God right. knows. We are seeing it and judging it from a human yeah. experience. And that's all we know. Exactly. So. And so I have faith in the divine that it will turn out the way it needs to turn out. So you can go higher, do better. You can work your way. Yeah. Um, he, what, what happens is they have jobs that they can take on there. Because you don't just, you know, when you come to earth, you, you experience your life here, you can work through things. But you can also work through things in spirit. It's a lot harder here. There's a lot more work. It's like boot camp. It's like, are you going to go and take a little like jogging class or are you going to do boot camp? Which one mm-hmm. are you going to get further along with? Mm-hmm. Probably boot camp. boot camp. Life is boot camp. And when you get over there, especially with suicides, they get to help others who are in the same boat. So people who are here who are struggling and are considering suicide, that spirit is allowed to come in and be the, be the thought, the voice of reason in that person's mind saying, hey, you don't, don't do want to do it. Yeah. You have more to live for. Wow. And if they can help that person not switch, then they've given themselves an opportunity to, uh, to, to elevate themselves so because like they understand up. it from their perspective. They <laughs> right. know it. Be right. trying to go up here to handbags. Y'all got me fast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Level up, ho. Level yeah. up. <laughs> but you know what, Fernie? That reminds me of kind of our next point, which is like, the pressure, like, and this is the way I looked at it when we talk about spirituality and um, kind of what you're taught as a child. Because I grew up in Catholic church, and it was like, what you're saying is so taboo mm-hmm. yes. to say that. Yeah. And I recall the time that I stopped going to church. I yeah. was in ninth grade, and I was going to confirmation class. And I just wanted to ask questions mm-hmm. about the stuff that we were learning, you know, because I've always been inquisitive, or I guess mm-hmm. you could say nosy, whatever. But I wanted to know. Yeah. And I was told I could not ask questions. Yeah. And that was yeah. when I said, this is you, four I, out of I five think, teachers in this class got me, got me fucked up. up. That's like that's the, right. the, the main problem that I have. It's like, you know, you're supposed to take all of this stuff in and just consider it to be golden information and run with it and, and question and nothing. It. And you're not so, but you can question everything else, else yeah. in, in life. You can question everything else, but that one thing you can't question at all. Like that, something seems oh, very, yeah. yeah, very strange you, and controlling about that. You know, it's that in the Bible. That's, it's interesting because I mean, I was in Catholic school and I went to school class and I learned everything. What's interesting is I left the Catholic religion as it being my religion and I ended up circling back and, c- and came back to it even though I'm not a practicing Catholic but I have a lot of respect and faith mm-hmm. in the religion itself and the practice itself um, but for me it was this it was this process of discovering myself and all of that what, what I realized is like religion is like cooking utensils you either know how to cook or you don't and I've come to realize that a lot of the people who are in power don't know how to use the utensils. And so the food tastes sour. Ooh. So what you need to do is you need to learn. <laughs> to te- you need to teach yourself how to cook, how to understand the different flavors, the different textures, and then start to play and explore those different textures and flavors and components yeah. and bring it all together. And at some point you realize, you know what? The pots and pans do work. The fire is there for a reason, but they don't know what the hell they're doing with yeah. it. And I think that's the, the same feeling that I had with religion was I had to explore myself. And I'm grateful that my sexuality helped me do that because in becoming, gay, you know, being psychic, being a medium, I think was a lot easier than being gay. I think being gay was so hard and wow. because it wasn't just about me like, oh, my God, I'm something different. I'm not normal. I'm I'm not supposed to be this way. People have expectations for who I'm supposed to be and mm-hmm. what I'm supposed to do. They're expecting me to get married. They're expecting me to have all these children and to do so so many things. And, um, and I mean, it was so bad where I, I have a step-grandmother 
who helped raise me. And I hadn't seen her for many, many years. And I came back because I wanted to establish a relationship with her. And I was the only one in the family that was trying to, to say, hey, you guys are being too hard on her. She had a right to be here. You know, she took care of grandpa. She has a right to be a part of the family. And I came back into her life and I said, hey, there's some things I want to tell you about myself that you've never met before. You don't know about me. She said, stop right this minute. Don't say anything else. I don't want you to tell me what you're going to tell me. I want to, to remember you as you were. Mm. And I don't wow. want what you're going to say to ruin that for me. Oh, my God. And so in that moment, I decided I can't have you, to, I can't have you be part of my life because you don't yeah. accept who I am. Mm -hmm. You accept who you wanted me to be. Yeah. And I had to turn away from that relationship. And I've had to wow. do that with several other relationships in my life. But, you know, it, it, it all comes back to you finding yourself through your own process, through your own faith. And I think me being gay helped me to question everything, yeah. everything about myself. And then in questioning everything and exploring and reading and studying and my own personal experience, it helped me to come back to having faith again. But yeah. this faith is unshakable. It's unbreakable. It's real. It's not something that was told to me. Hey, and you have to have faith. in your mind. Exactly. It yes. wasn't made. It, it wasn't. I wasn't conditioned to have faith. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was, I was, life has taught me what faith is. Right. It's like everything that happens to you yeah. and it's just like kind of, yeah. like you said, it helps you develop who you are and that's where you find out yeah. through your experiences. Like, yeah. you know, stuff that not necessarily miracles, but like things that, you mm -hmm. go through that kind of say, okay, yes, this is real. Yeah. It might not be exactly what they told me, or it might be what they were telling me I can't ask about, right. but I do have faith in God. You know what yeah. I mean? I think that collectively we are starting to drift away from just idealistic beliefs about religion and people are starting to go the individual route and figure out like what's really best for them. Right. And, and not necessarily choosing denomination to identify right and with. not necessarily yeah. just like going to church and saying okay well pastor said right yeah. you know and this is how i'm going to you know live my life and that's that's basically how i was raised though i mean i come from a very large family and my grandfather was a preacher i have like what is like my grandmother and my grandfather had like nine kids and what five of them five of the boys they're all preachers you know so like does everybody have their own church Mm, not everybody had their own church. I think three of them have churches. But mm. um, so we were in church like um, every week. Uh, you know what I mean? Like we was, oh, excuse me. Girl, me too. I know. Like, <laughs> so we was, so, I mean, all all day Sunday, like yeah. all day. Saturdays like, and Wednesday Bible, Bible study. study. And, yes. Oh, that was all me. All of that stuff. That was me everything. Like, I mean, I was forced to sing in the choir. I remember having you? to lead. Yes, I had to lead a song. I was like probably about eight and they make you and do they that make, shit. I was crying. <laughs> I, girl, I was listen. crying, singing, this little light of mine. Like, <laughs> that light, oh that light was little, y'all. That light was little. It was a little ass and light. So it's like, um, so, you know, I mean, I, it, it seems like we're drifting from conformity and starting to just really find our own individuality I think like you're right as far as it goes along with uh religion and spirituality is concerned i would I mean, say you're right because non-denominational church is like booming basically yeah i mean what the power of now mm -hmm. law of attraction but like spirituality and it's it's called spirituality and yeah. it's ritualism <laughs> has been a idea based religious kind of affiliation it's like a host of ideas but that based i mean that came out of the like 30s and 20s and that was from england and it, the spiritualism mm -hmm. and mediums and all this stuff but now there's spirituality which is you don't need to stick to one source you mm -hmm. can decide what works for you or what doesn't work for you um and and i i believe that we all internally have this thing within us that's called the human spirit mm -hmm. and i think that this thing within us has a guiding principle and it lets us know what is okay and what is not okay not what's right or what's wrong but what is okay for us and what is not okay mm -hmm. for us and we're all on different journeys we're all on different paths mm -hmm. and some of our set of instructions or directions are going to lead us to where we need to go so what may be okay for some people may not be okay for others and that's okay because right. they have their own set of instructions. They're here for a reason. That, per that person has been born to give other people certain experiences mm. to allow them, allow them 
certain awarenesses, certain ideas, certain um, certain perceptions about things in life that they may have never had before had that person never been who they were. Right. Yeah, and the problem okay. comes in is when we all think, well, we're supposed to be doing what Susie's doing. Right. It's just mm-hmm. like when, you know, people who don't have children and they're like, well, that's what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm supposed right. to be, I'm you supposed know, to, I'm supposed to be kids. a mother. I'm supposed to yeah. be mm-hmm. married. I'm supposed to be this, but you're not supposed to be doing shit except yeah. for what you individually are supposed to be doing. Yeah. And you might not know what that is yet. So, what we're supposed to be doing is playing a game. <laughs> <laughs> so, y'all ready? You ready for the game? Okay. So like hot okay. fire. So hot fire. The response, so. The, so this is called, what is it called again? Danny, can you give the breakdown? Or you want so me to give it? So it's called Scategories with a Twist. Okay. So basically, I'm going to... Sounds like a really bad trip to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, um, it's just going to be like statements that you're going to have to answer. Mm-hmm. And um, how do you say your last name again? Maron. 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 No, people say Marin. Marin. Because yeah. I was like, I know that wasn't right. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, so you have to answer it with the first letter of your last name. Okay. Okay, so this just as a test. Okay, test. <laughs> Test. Something you wear. Something I wear. Oh, that's hard. Oh my God. Are you serious? <laughs> man pants. Okay, okay. So makeup. I can make up pants. I can make up shit. You can make up shit. I can make up shit. Or you can say makeup. Okay. Okay. Even though you don't wear man, man pants. Man pants. Okay. Man pants. A man romper? Okay. That's Rom- not pants. pants. Rompers yeah. are shorts, first of all. Yeah. You could have said that's just a short makeup. Set. A man? I wear a man? You could have just you said wear makeup. A man. I wear a man? Okay, not, yeah. It's not necessarily... <laughs> Sometimes I have. It's yeah. not necessarily you specifically. Mm-hmm. Like It's not mm-hmm. like something Fernando wears. Okay. It's just something you something in general so, yeah, wear. wear. Okay. You could have okay, said makeup. So I'm going to set the timer okay. to... Oh, there's time. Okay. You're going to yeah. give the questions? Oh, Lord. Yeah, I'm a, okay, uh-huh. so we're going to see how many you can... You got you to be quick. Okay, quick. You got to be quick on it. You got to probably read them to you slowly, but you got to be quick. Oh, Help me, spirit. Okay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. They're going to give him all the answers. Damn. Okay. <laughs> you would think, right? You would think they were like that. They're not. And I'm like, hey, guys, I have a question. You ain't working now. We ain't helping you. They do this. <laughs> okay. Thanks. 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 For nothing. For nothing. Fuck. <laughs> all right. So we're going to see how many you can answer in 30 seconds. Okay. All right. You ready? Okay. With an M. Jeez. Okay. Okay. Reason to drink. Uh, men. Nice. <laughs> I have you. Nice. Drink okay, because I did, of men. I did. You do. Okay. Um, so I never date someone who is. Uh, <laughs> um, Why the fuck is this game so hard? Marbles? Marbles? Okay. Musty. Musty. Okay. Okay. Oh, musty. okay. Okay. Something that's hot. Hot. Men. Okay. <laughs> Is that gonna be your answer every time? No, I mean, <laughs> me. Okay. Me. Okay. Me. okay. Word that could describe a fart. A fart? Yeah. Um. 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 M- Macy? I don't. Uh, 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 murky. So, okay. Murky. So, yeah. Something you Ew. can't live without. Something I can't live without. Mm-hmm. Um. Mariah Carey. Mariah Carey. Okay. Now, okay. See, he was uh, that's so really not. That. That's really not true. I can live without Mariah. <laughs> that's, but okay. that, that was not me. old Mariah, but new Mariah. I can live with her. Oh, so. I, done, I did something to the goddamn timer. See, your spirit. That spirit helping you they right there. You. Yep. I yeah, told you they was going to help you. Oh, Why guys with, okay. Look, they didn't give you no answers, but they helped you on time. You good? Yeah, yeah, we would. Okay, I've messed it up. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, where was I at? A song you could sing to your partner. A song I sing to my partner. Mary had a little lamb. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. A reason to be late. A reason to be late. Um, my ass is too fat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> I am not about to play. Porn name. A porn name. Um, uh, mammy pants. Oh! <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Okay. Um, a vacation spot. Oh, uh, Mexico. You, okay. Ah. I was just about to say, you just went there. I know, okay. right? Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, last one. Sexual act. I quit. My, okay. Um, <laughs> you're not even playing. <laughs> 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 I 
but this is the second time. Masturbation. No. Not, Masturbation. I don't even want to do this. You. I don't even yeah. want to do this See? with you. You know what? <laughs> See, you know, it's funny because here I am, this like very spiritual person, and I can connect with spirit, but I can be real like. Real slow sometimes. <laughs> Le blonde. Le blonde. Yeah, exactly. Blonde. Le blonde. Le blonde. A little, a little blonde. Le blonde. Oh, I thought you said Le blonde. Le blonde. I was like, like LeBron. You, you died. What is that? That's your new it's nickname. Okay. LeBron. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Maybe this game is difficult for people who have to use the letter M. <laughs> Maybe so. <laughs> because this, it was the same shit last time. And Poe Greg was like, oh, oh Lord. And we were like, masturbation. And he was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 yes. so, he's like, I really don't play with myself. But, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> all right. So we were supposed to first of all thank you, Fernie, for answering. You gave it all your effort. I did. Great. I really hard. It was hard. It was. Mammy mm-hmm. pants <laughs> is going to live in infamy. <laughs> Mammy <laughs> pants. <laughs> um, so terrible. <laughs> I know. What the fuck? Okay. She's but, wearing mammy pants. That's what those are. What? Mammy pants. Let me find out. <laughs> That's a skirt. Okay. But, you know, but they can be called mammy pants. Oh, my God. No. <laughs> so you just made some shit up. Okay. Yeah. Again. <laughs> so we were supposed to do our comfort zone challenge. Now, I failed so far because I have not yet recorded my song. I was going to sing it to y'all now, but Danielle gave me the look like, don't you do it. I'm good. Okay, so Danielle, do you want to talk about the results of your comfort zone challenge? I, w- I was going to say you could talk about the other one that you yeah, so talk about the results of her. Oh, I did do. <laughs> I did have another one. That'd be mm-hmm. The one that I had thought of before I said the other thing was to talk to Fernando about something personal because I've been kind of scared to do it because I'm a scary bitch. But that same week we did the mediumship. And I felt really, really good afterwards. And I felt like a, a release of sh- like a life, not lifelong, but like 16, 17 years worth of stress because, you know, I, I kind of got to talk to my dad. Aww. So that was really cool. Oh, oh, you know, <laughs> like hearing this on this side, because I've never had that experience where I've had a spirit come through and connect and I've, I've experienced it directly, but it's me in my mind. So I, I don't, I, I don't have any validation that it's not me, yeah, but when right. I do it for others, there's a the validation there. So I've never been on that end of it where I get to talk to someone that I would like to talk to yeah. and connect. Yeah. And connect in that way yet. Um, I'm sure the opportunity will come up at some point, but I don't get to be on that side. So I don't know what that really feels like to, to have that release yeah. And people say, it's such a release. It's such a comfort to know certain things. And I'm like, I don't I don't know what that feels like on that end because I've never been on that end. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, if you ever get the, the chance. Yeah. yeah, there's one of your psychic friends you, like, trust. See. <sighs> How does that work? Because, well. <sighs> I have friends that are psychic and are mediums. But I've, I've not run into another medium like myself. Where I'm <laughs> Who's good and shit? Oh, no. so. <laughs> Don't like, say it, Fernando. Right. 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 All the shade. Know, right. like, <laughs> the, the, the level of message that comes through is that that extensive or that specific, and mm. I really try to be specific. So I'm yeah. like, I yeah. want someone that's gonna give me the same same yeah. situation. Yeah, catch that shade, bitches. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> and it was weird because there were some things like from the other, like I had like a bunch of males trying to come through, but there were some things that I remembered later. And I was like, man, I wish I would have been able to yeah. recall. recall it at the time, yeah. you know. And that happens all the time. It's called psychic amnesia. Like, in the moment, you're, like, trying to think so quickly. Like, the M, you oh. were asking me questions. I had psychic amnesia right there. I couldn't <laughs> oh. figure it out. And and it's so easy. Masturbation. Duh, sex, masturbation. So <laughs> it's so easy. But in the moment, you get stuck and you don't yeah. know what to, how to react or how yeah. to respond. And that's why mm. I say it's so important that we record these sessions, guys, because – you can go back and you can catch some of that. And you, what you see on TV, I mean, they show you like a four, it's a 45 one hour session. They show you like three or four minutes of it. And that's all that gets on TV, yeah. but they show you a highlight, but yeah. they don't show you all the stuff that happens after the fact or what a reading actually looks like. Yeah. So you don't know what it really looks like. You have right. this idea that every single moment is supposed to be mind blowing. It's not like that. Yeah. It's like having, if I'm sitting next to you and we're having a conversation, is everything that comes out of your mouth going to be mind blowing? You may say not. one thing and I'll be like, what? 
that's interesting that she said that. And, and the rest it. of the conversation is just a normal it's conversation. For shit. Yeah. But then stuff starts rolling in your head after the fact. It's the same yeah. way. Mm-hmm. That's a real connection. And that's why I do the videos because I want people to see what it is and what it isn't and, and be true to its nature. Yeah. You and then to be able cry. to go back. Yeah. yeah. Like that's a. Yeah. And when we do our update video, you'll be able to share what you got out of that yeah mm-hmm. or what you were able to connect with after the fact and we're like what the hell was i thinking <laughs> yeah there was a lot i was like oh shit yeah. like the other guy i was like i don't know who that could be the hell and then i was like oh i totally know who that is like <laughs> later yeah. like as soon as i hung the phone up i was like fuck yeah i knew who it was i'm still there's some still some things that i'm like i don't know what, don't that, know what is, that means but. and that's okay that means and, and not everything well it, that but that's me trying to that would be me trying to make it fit some things i just may not have communicated that properly yeah i had a, a reading with a woman um last week and she was a bitch i mean she was really really nasty because she wasn't trying to help me understand what I was sensing. Cause I only see so many things. I don't see your whole life. I don't know what the hell is going on in your life. I only see what I see, what I get. And mm-hmm. it's bits and pieces, you know? And, and if someone brings me a pear and they say, here, this is part of a meal. I don't know what the whole meal consists of. I just know there's a pear, you know? Yeah. Right. So I'm trying to tell her everything that I'm sensing and she's talking in code throughout the entire reading. And I'm like, what? and I even called her out on it. I said, you, you seem to be talking in code. Like you're not trying to, understand what it is i'm expressing or sharing with you and it's like you're you're not getting what this what this is did you watch my videos did you yeah. even go on and familiarize yourself with my process because you must have a different idea for what this is going to be and what this is not going to be well she probably um, didn't want to give you too much she information didn't, and I, I get that yeah. and i'm okay with that which is why i spend 10 or 15 minutes talking before you have an opportunity to open your mouth <laughs> why you have an opportunity to open your mouth no you absolutely talk. because we have 15 minutes left for me to help you understand yeah. what this is in reference to exactly. and where this fits so that you can make sense of your life i'm trying to help you and i already did my part and gave you 15 minutes of me talking and sharing what i had to share now's your chance to talk make it relate make bitch. it work right <laughs> make it work yeah and make it relate twirl bitch twirl yeah. twirl bitch and yeah. some things i may be incorrect with but she she was just she was very she i said you know i see a relationship for you but i feel like there's gonna be a disconnection or there's gonna be some time apart during the mid-year and then towards the end of the year i feel there's a reconnect but you guys come to a conclusion that you're gonna go your own separate ways or you're gonna see other people and so she's like well well and can you tell me anything else more specific i'm like that's pretty specific, but okay. Bitch, um, really? Um, and so I gave her as much as I could, but she was like, well, I just I just got out of a relationship. I actually just broke up with my fiance. And I'm like, okay, so that's the breakup. Y'all, you're <laughs> all like, going to get back bitch, together duh. temporarily, and then y'all are going to go your own separate ways, but you have to come to that realization towards the end of the year. Well, am I going to have any children? I'm like, well, I'm seeing the number two, so I'm assuming there are two children. So how many children do you have now? Well, it's complicated. I'm like, well, what's how complicated do, about that? Complicated I'm like, okay. That's like almost says, well, pregnant, yeah. kind of pregnant. And so bitch. she says, and, and, and she says, well, am I going to have two children myself naturally? I'm like, okay, well, I'm confused, but I feel, I, I, and I kept seeing someone else carrying children. So I didn't see her with children. I see someone else carrying the children. So mm. I said, well, I'm seeing two children and I feel like they're carried by someone else. So I'm seeing two children in your life. And she says, well, my, my fiance has two children. I'm like, okay. And so she says, well, how am I going to have these children? I'm like, I don't know. You might have, um, uh, you might have somebody carry them for you. Or you might already have the or two you children already have them. that but are see, carried by somebody else. In my else. mind, they were showing me a woman carrying children that wasn't her. So Spirit was simply trying to tell me for any, like, She's got two children in her life, but they're not hers by, by, by birth, Natural. but they are her children. So if she's going to marry this guy, she needs to take responsibility but for that. But that could be part of why but they're in my mind, having and so I, many yeah, And I was trying to make sense of it, and I was like, well, you might be having you know, in vitro or something else. I don't know, but I don't feel like you're carrying these children. But I've seen the two children. That so, bitch and, knew what it was. And, but yeah, but she, so she reacted, and she was like, uh-uh, this isn't, no, none of this, no, nothing that you're saying makes sense to me. And I'm like, okay. Well, you're obviously not enjoying your session, and I don't want to waste any more of your time. So thank you so much for our 30-minute session, because you're not going to get a refund, because you waited 30 minutes. But, um, you know, uh, thank <laughs> you so like, much for the time. This my time. Savage. Now, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Remember, this was recorded. You will be able to go back and reference some of those things, and whatever you can connect with in the moment, you might understand later on. So she went ahead and was like, okay, whatever. Bye-bye. And we clicked off. And I, it took me two days to get past that. And I, here You're I am talking about you have to, well, you have <laughs> to sustain your sense of self, right? But yeah. I'm still human. And if someone says something, there's a battle that happens within my mind that I have to hold on to who I am and who I want to be and choose that. 
and or I'm gonna let her get the best of me and turn her turn have her turn me into something I'm not. Mm -hmm. And there was that battle going on for two days in my mind. So Aww. even though I'm telling you, hey guys, just cuss her out loud to, oh, yeah. and let it go. And I'm saying, <laughs> hey, I don't give a flying fuck what other people say, and I really don't. But it still affects me, and that's my that's it's my conditioning. It's offensive, though, but that's it's, offensive. Well, and, well, she can be offended all she wants. She can offend no, me all to she you, wants. Yeah. I don't care. Like she's not coming back. I block. You know, I, I blocked her. So, but <laughs> this <laughs> one. <of> but <laughs> at the same time, because yeah, I don't know. Like you were nasty. You could have said, "Well, it doesn't make sense to me." But okay. I I'll give know. it a chance. That's fine. Marinate. Let it sit with you. Yeah. <laughs> block and delete, bitch. Block no. and delete. Yeah. But, you know, it's, it's still affected me for two days. And I had yeah. to spend two days choosing who I was going to be versus choosing Aww. who I was going to be because what she said. Aww. And that's me. Make That's the work. We're here talking about wanting to be who you want to be and choosing that. But it's not just simply like, oh, well, this is who I'm going to be. That's it. Problem solved. No. You have to encounter this in the real world and put it to use and practice and do the work. Yeah. So it's not just like I choose to be this and that's it. No. You have to practice it's it. Work. Oh it's work. God. It's work. It's work. It's work to choose yourself over pain. It's it's work to choose yourself over what someone else is mm -hmm. trying to demean you to. Yeah. I can already tell you what happened in her relationship. She wants her own kids desperately. She and wants he control. Has she wants own, control. He, yeah. he has mm -hmm. kids. Yeah. And he's like, I'm good. And she desperately wants to be someone's natural mom. And she probably she has, has an issue the with the two kids any fucking yeah. way. Yeah. Yeah. So fuck Which I her. I feel bad for the kids because... She's like not even considering them for her, right. her, like her children, yeah. and they're engaged. And I'm like, she needs. You to might want to have a, a relationship with them kids yeah. before you get married, right? Yeah. So or you're like, not them, yeah, because they're like, Ugh. yeah, no, that's good. It probably saved them yeah. kids some heartache. But you okay. know, my reaction to her was very professional. Behind the scenes, I'm like, you, bitch, you know, bitch. but yes. but you know, in reacting to her and talking to her, it all has to be professional because even if I don't like you. I'm going to try to work with you in the moment we have to do that. And then after we're no longer involved, <laughs> then that's when I can be who I want to yeah, be. Yeah, but there's a le certain level. Like, you're coming to somebody for a service. Like, you don't have to be rude and or unprofessional. Like, right. this is your job. You're a professional yeah. at what you do. As long as you treated her professionally while you're having the reading, bitch, you don't have to be rude. Yeah. And you don't have to treat But you know what? That's, that's a good point. Because, and then what I was saying earlier, if you choose to be a certain person, yeah. the people who support that will, will leave. And the people who... I mean, the people who support that will stay. The others will leave. That's why you're not getting married, bitch. Well, in 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 all the videos that I put out, Fuck and in her. the way that I've the, the, you know done my website and everything that I promoted myself in and showed, hey, this is who I am. People who come to me, they know that already. Yes, they've done their homework, yes. and so a majority of my clients do know who I am. Exactly, and they appreciate that. I There's did. every every now and then one person will get through, and I'm like. Why are you here, bitch? Who the fuck let you in? And Why are you? But, How you slip past security? But with what I was saying earlier, whatever gets through is a lesson from the universe to prepare for you, you for something grander. Yeah. Yeah, and she was teaching me a lesson in the moment. And I have to uh, honor and respect that that was the whole point of the interaction was I was supposed to learn something yeah. about myself. And she was learning something about herself, whether she realized it or not. Or not. Yeah. That's so I'm grateful for the experience. It may happen once every other two, three, four months, but... I'm grateful for the experience nonetheless. I'm with you. All right. We done deviated like way too long. Oh, yes. Well, it, it was <laughs> the, mam the mammy pants. They got me all You know crooked. what? First off. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to say this. We didn't learn shit last time because we got this same ass, weak ass, 11% wine, Bordeaux. Then I'm going to give it a score. And then everybody, I want to hear what your number is. I'm, I'm giving it. I'm doing well. You, you don't, don't drink. count. I don't you don't count. So <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. That's why I tried to give you the least. I'm gonna give it a seven. I'm gonna pull a Sharonda. It, I'm giving it a seven. A full fucking seven. That's what's up. I'm I'm sick of this shit. <laughs> S I C K A. Well, to me, this wine it didn't really have much to it. Like it was it was real light. It was real. Um, it was flavorless. <laughs> Just like very oaky. Yes. The last one. I feel like I don't like Bordeaux. I if do like the next Bordeaux, person who but, brings it in here. I'm gonna hit like, you with it. I've had but this is also a blend too that no. may have something to do. Well, no, they're, they're okay. All, well, well then all blends, so. I retract my fucking statement. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> what these problems? No, really. Well, I feels just like the last one that we had that was flavorless. Would you like to go outside and throw the bottle somewhere? I'm about to, to fight the wine outside. Yes, out outside Nia's house. Out, <laughs> house. Okay, but real life. I'm, I think, 20, just because it was kind of meh. Motherfucker, did you go from a 7 to a 20? I, I was giving it a that. real score. Um, 
I thought so. I mean, it didn't have no. much of a. Well, the smell was a little bit on the musky. I didn't yes. like. I didn't really like the smell of it, and it's really. It it didn't have much of a balance to it or anything like yeah it was like you don't really taste like the grapes of it like it's it's kind of like blah so I give it a three because I was thirsty <laughs> <laughs> it quenched my thirst the motherfucking this was some water wine y'all this was water wine it's not morning wine no it's not morning wine I wouldn't even do that like I would mix it with vodka. You know what? It reminds me of. Why would you see? I thought. I what do you mean, like, because it doesn't have much to like. Uh, like, it probably would mix very well with like a raspberry. Um, just put it in the, the sangria. Just go and throw it in. It tastes like a limerita. Well, it does have lemon, yeah, or something in it. So it, it like, tastes yeah. like a lime yeah. So, but like. yeah, yeah, I would, I would probably mix this with. You can make a sangria with this one. Yeah, yeah the, it would wouldn't be a great one, but it'd be. Oh, you would have the, to add like you'd have to do other. so much, yeah, yeah. so like, much fruit, fruit and fruit, fruit juice, yeah, fruit Some and sugar, a- actual alcohol, yes, and just it's actual, <laughs> actual alcohol. <laughs> Like, well, let's legit. not forget, you know, it is 11.5%. You know, yeah. Michelle don't fuck around, so. Okay, but the last border was actually like 11 flat. Was it really? Was it? That, the morning wine. I, but I like that one better than I like I, But it one. was refreshing like morning wine, so yeah. Like some water in the morning? No. Mm-mm. This is like, oh, I'm thirsty. Let me get some water real quick. Oh, okay. So <laughs> See, so, yeah. I, Jen's over there telling me lemon water. Yeah. Lemon water. <laughs> okay. Um, do you have a score, though? I mean, do you like it or nah? I'm going to go with nah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Fernie, did you like it? I give it a two. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, Y'all not even giving it a whole Possible score. Two. I give it a two. <laughs> a two. A two. Because so I was got... served it twice and I drank it twice. Because pretty much, I so one it, per cup. But didn't experience it. Yeah. Yes. Didn't yeah. experience it, Jesus. Mm-hmm. You know what? I saw St. Clair at Walgreens. <gasps> No, you did not. Really? No, really? you did not. Which Y'all Walgreens? know I'll be at Walgreens buying wine. Okay. We didn't take a picture Where? or buy it. No, it was the one uh, by um, in Richmond where oh. I went, where I picked up the 14 hands. But I was like, uh, I don't know what to get. Got it. Mm. But they don't awesome. have the Nebibli. Neb- 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 well, they changed that, so now it's like Nebibli or something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did she ever send you that? She never did send me that one. See? Fuck that bitch. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she, she, she was just getting ready to mail it, and then she's like, I'm about to put this in You the know what? what? Fuck her. And her mammy pants. <laughs> her yeah. mammy pants. Yeah. Yeah. Bitch. I'll bring you some. I'm, when I go, I'll bring you, you bring some. some. I stock up. Please, Please do. Yeah. And tell, what's her name? I don't know what her name is. Fuck her. <laughs> her name is. That's two fuckers. Okay, so, Fernie, um, where can everybody find you? So, if you want to find me, you can find me on YouTube at Fernando Marone. Just type in Fernando Marone Psychic, and I'll pop up. Because he's um, the yes. Piece of or you can just go to my website, and that takes you everywhere. So, okay. you can find me on my website at www.fernandomarone.com. That's a Fernando, F-E-R-N-A-N-D-O. Marone, M-A-R-R-O-N dot com. You can go to my Facebook where I'm about to uh, launch the training course Ooh. within this month. Finally, finally, I committed myself to like February and then we're now in like May. It's so okay. It's okay. Yeah. Takes time. Greatness uh, takes time. I know. I know. And so uh, that and then Twitter, you can follow me on Twitter, um, but definitely check me out on YouTube. You know what I just immediately in my head, all I can see is a bunch of fake psychics running around like, I was trained by Fernando. Oh my <laughs> gosh, shut up. Call shut me up. now. I will, not, I will not take credit for that. I will not. Yeah. <laughs> Motherfuckers we know gonna be like, I'm sorry. I'm tapped into my psychic Look, abilities. What is Don't certificate do me. and shit, bitch. I took three days. That's what? Fun. Bitch, I am for real. You know what's funny? Yeah, I'm a psychic. Oh my god. You know what? In the first like in the first part of the course, I spend like thirty minutes talking about how you ain't here. To outdo me, you ain't Ooh. here to be nothing Ooh, special. You ain't here you to be on TV. Students. You are here to learn, and if you're not here to learn, then you need to get your money back because this is not this is not the right reason to be here. Red for Phil <laughs> on the first day of class. Okay, Red for you Phil. are so feisty. Like it's he can't like it. true. you know, you know, because you know why? Because I'm talking to myself. That's what I used to be like, mm. and so I'm talking to myself and telling these people, don't waste my time. Don't First waste of all, bitch, time. you are never going to be as good as me. Okay. <laughs> That's number one. Okay. Bitch, I am the Bow one. down to yes. King Bull. Recognize greatness when you medium. see it. Ugh. 
and he, Ricky Hilla. It ain't and real because he ain't got no pinky ring. Fall down. Oh my God. <laughs> no, you know what? He might have one. You don't know that. You don't know his life. I have my chair. Have y'all seen my chair? No. For my birthday, like just a few a week ago, for my birthday. They gave me a director's chair. So it says Fernie Psychic Medium, and it's a director's chair. And I get to oh, sit on there, shit. and I get to be high. That's yeah. his pinky ring. There yeah, there it is. There it is. There it is. I needed. didn't ask for it. They're like, hey, you want one of those? Like, Hell yes, I want one of those. So they could sit below you, bitch. Know your place. Oh, true. I'm not mad. Oh, my God. Let's, <laughs> not, let's wrap this up. Uh, okay, <laughs> so if you want to find us, you can also go to our website, betweenusgirlspodcast.com, and it'll take you everywhere, like Fernando said. Um, I pretty much think that's about it for this episode. Um, just make sure that you um, go to iTunes, leave us a review, go to SoundCloud, make sure you subscribe, follow us on Twitter, join our Facebook group. There's a lot of conversation going on in there. A lot of it doesn't make sense. But some of it is great. <laughs> uh, just search between us girls in the groups. And as always, Bye. <laughs> <laughs>